Okay. Okay. All right. Good deal. So the key to what we're going to be doing moving forward is automation, right? We want to free up time for everyone to just be able to work in the field, guys. We're cutting down on the schedule from a lot of the Zooms. The mastermind training is schedules being, you know, reconstructed. Our our lives, you know, live sessions outside of education, you know, with the eight days of training, with the new members orientation, guys, a lot of stuff is going to be automated. Again, put automation in the chat. Guys, the whole point of this deal is to get everybody in a position where you can work your business freely, right? What we've done, we gave tons and thousands of value to the community, right? And got everybody where they need to be. I believe at this point, the understanding is where it needs to be, the level of comprehension of what we do. Our systems are laid out. We, we've done a great job with a lot of PowerPoints, a lot of presentations, a lot of things that everyone can just use on a regular basis. Guys, now the job is just to automate, right? So we need to take some things off of our off of our um, extreme team and let them get back to the field, right? Let them get back to building the teams. You know, we, we're so grateful that from our previous opportunity, guys, that we already had a team in play that knew exactly what to do. And we didn't mind stepping up and supporting our teams, you know what I'm saying, so that we could be in a position to make sure we could be a bridge over troubled water guys but right now the water is no longer trouble right we are on a smooth slate you know everything is operating fine we are we have a nice scale up plan for the company for the next six the six 12 and 18 months we have updates coming to the comp plan guys automation once you get to this phase of your business where it's time to just press play right we don't have to keep making adjustments we don't have to keep moving around like guys press play and that's what we're literally doing we're going through our whole process right now and getting everything we could be streamlined into a position where all you got to do is point and click, you know, send your people that come through the business back there to where they need to go and let them press play. And what, what that does is it keeps the serious people serious and the people that's playing, it's just like the academy. If they don't go back there and press play, they're really not serious. And so you need to be in a position where people can't make an excuse about they had to sit on the Zoom, right? And they, they had to listen to this live and all the type of jazz. Oh, I missed it. So I'll do it next week. Mm -mm, no, no, no. So what we want to do is we want to take away a lot of those excuses. We're going to put people in a position where they can press play. And when they press play, they get all the information they need quickly. They can digest it at the speed that they need to digest it at. I don't care if it's midnight. I don't care if it's two in the morning. Some people work third shift. They can be at their job, guys, and press play. Well, we understand that's going to do major, major things for our community. Number one, productivity should go up, right? Number two is more convenient, right? You could be in a position where it's more convenient based on the person's schedule. And number three is going to take everybody checkup, right? Because at this point now, people can be accountable for their own success, not waiting for, you know, Tony to get on new members orientation or waiting on Chi and Chrissy to be in a position where, you know, they do the presentation and, or, you know, they were waiting for, you know, uh, Kiana to go through training view. No, guys, you don't need to do that, right? So we, we've done a great job to make all these things available. And let's just be honest, in our previous opportunity, none of this was available. None of this stuff was there. We, what we created was what we always wanted, right? You know, we had the opportunity to design it and put it together the way that we saw fit. So we did just that. And we gave tons and tons and tons of value up front to the team to be in a position where everybody could feel comfortable. Guys, put comfort in the chat. We, want, we wanted to develop some comfort where everybody who, when we came out of that position, when the, when the water was troubled and the tree was shaking and we all, you know, everybody was scattered trying to figure out what was going to be the next move, guys. What we had to bring was a level of comfort that when people came over, they knew exactly what to do. They had all the support in position, right? You know, we, we loved on everybody, which we're going to continue to love on everybody. But all that live training is a lot of love. That's a lot of one-on-one, -on -one, hold your hand, take you to the park. Let's go get some ice cream, sit down. Oh, you spilled some on your shirt. Let me wipe that off for you. Guys, we we done, we delivered a lot of comfort to our team to make sure everybody could settle down and get in the right position. Guys, right now we are settled, we are gassed up, and we're ready to go to the next level. So we got to go to this model of automation where you can press play. Now, for some, they may say, I don't like that. Well, I understand that, and I can respect that, right? But I can tell you, now, now listen to me carefully. For me doing our numbers, so for me looking at where we are, right, it, you may not like it up front because you want to get your hand held, but that may be the same person who needs to get pushed out the nest. You know what I'm saying? So we understand that leaders just need to know what direction to go. That's all. And when leaders come into the business, they just need to know, where do I go? Where do I get the information so I can go to work? You know, when I look at my career and I look at all the success that I've had and the millions of dollars that I made over my short lifespan, when I look at it, all I wanted was information. 
that's it. You know, I didn't really need people sitting down to tell me, you know, everything I needed to do right one on one. Right. And, you know, sometimes I didn't want that. Like I, I'm a private person naturally. So I just like information. Just point me in the direction of the information. If you could let me press play. Let me take notes. Right. Let me get me a, a plate of food. Give me something to drink. Get my notepad and an ink pen and a pencil. Let me watch the video. Let me take it all in, right? Let me go back and rewind it. Let me digest that one section one time. It could be a system that I'm trying to learn. It could be a delivery of a process I'm trying to emulate, right? It could be a joke that I found out that somebody said I thought was a really good one. I was like, what did he say? Let me get that again, right? Because we understand in the business of replication is all about how to copy the right cats, right? So you just need to be in a position where you understand how to be a copycat, but always copy the right cats, right? And the right cats got results. So we just need to be in a position where we can have our people press play consume the information on their own time and guys get out the way put that in the chat you know, get out of the way guys we just need to get in a position where all these new people that's coming to the business we got to get out of the way right we can't hold them up on the zoom we can't hold them up you know doing if it's not a three-way call or a launch call guys we need to get out of the way right you know sometimes that those of you are that are parents you know you may be able to relate to what i'm about to say you know our children can get older and we just we're so nurturing to them but we still doing stuff for them what i've learned as raising my children one of the best things that i did for them that my mother did for me is she gave me tough love she told me exactly what i need to do exactly how i needed to do it and she got out of the way and what did that do for, what did that do for me they got my legs strong they allow me to stand on my own two feet, right? They allow me to be in a position where if I really wanted to get something done, guess what? I had to do it, right? It put a level of accountability on me. So I can understand why some people may push back from the live session because they want to be, they want their hands to be held. Guys, you can't grow a big business being in people's way. If you want to see your leader step up, then get out the way, right? If you want to see what your people are made out of, get out of the way, right? Put us put a system in play where the accountability is on them, more on them and less on you. And you'll really see what you got. See, some leaders that you may feel like a leaders, they only good because you're in the way. <laughs> Hello. They only good because you're the one that's that's holding their hand and walking them through. You're the one who you say a thought and they, they, they become good mirrors, right? They mirror you, right? They mirror what you say. They mirror your posture. But when you get out of the way, you're going to really see what you got, right? Ain't none of that fluff. You're going to see what you got. And I think as you build a business, one of the key things to do is know how to get into business and know how to get out of business. You always got to have an extra strategy. Every great, great leader, every great, you know, Fortune 500 company, you got to have an extra strategy, right? If you're going to build your business and sell it, you're going to build your business and get an acquisition done or whatever it's going to be, you got to have an exit plan. And when we went into business, guys, it wasn't to be in business to be in business, right? You got to get in business to get out of your business, right? You got to learn how to work on your business and not waste in your business. And the best way to do it is to get out of the way. Like I remember when I was in a district manager, Fortune 500 company, guys, um, what I would do is I would have my huddle with my leaders, similar to what we're doing now. I would have my huddle with my leaders. I would tell them the expectation of what I would expect. And I would leave on purpose. And I wouldn't answer my phone. I wouldn't answer a text message, similar to what I do now, because I want to see who can do it without me. See, that's the key. If you want to build a big business, if you want to have something that's stable, and I think we all came into business for stability, one of the key things you have to do is get out of the way. Uh, inspect what you expect. Again, I'm going to say it again. Inspect what you expect, right? You give people a system. You give them a strategy. You show them how to do it. No, you don't just tell them how to do it. You show them, which means as a leader, you're involved and you actually show people how to execute correctly. You hold them to a level of accountability. Then you get your butt out of the way because they never could really have their strength, you know, grown if you're always holding them. See, we used to have something called a popcorn, right? And so if you understand what that is, you know, I'm going to take you back a little bit from doing backflips on the mattresses. Some of y'all don't know about that. Y'all just had trampolines, right? See, where I grew up at, we used to stack the mattresses up, right? They would throw the mattresses out. They said, oh, that's disgusting. Oh, man, you wasn't a kid that had fun then. We had fun with them old mattresses. We stack them all up. We, get, we, we jump on them, and I give a popcorn. I'm going to stand on the bottom. You, I'm going to put my hand down. You're going to put your foot on my hand. We're going to bounce, and I'm going to throw you up in the air. Right, I'm gonna get you higher, right? Because I'm gonna bounce with you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you the support that you need to make you feel safe. And then after that, I'm gonna throw you up. Now you gotta do the backflip on your own. See, I can give you the support. I can give you the spring. I can point you in the right direction of safety. But guess what? You gotta do the work. See, what we understand is to take this company to the next level, we gotta have more people that's willing to step up, take the support and just go to work. Just go do what you gotta get done, right? We, you know, you run your own training calls. You run your meetings with your teams. You use these resources and have everybody to press play. So at the end of the day, guys, the biggest thing that I'm excited about that we'll be going to right now 
that a lot of the stuff that you were, we're getting on Zoom right now, we had to wait for the Vimeo to finish their integrations and, you know, upgrade the packages. Because let's just be honest, guys, our bandwidth that we've been using has been crazy. I mean, it ain't nothing but the grace of God that we in a position where we ain't look up and have a $30,000 bill just because we're just so over loving. Yeah, you know? but we just, we provided such a level of comfort to our community. Guys, it's just nothing but the grace of God. They just must have really liked this because they could have threw us with a 20 or $30,000 bill uh, because all of the streaming and lives that we're doing. And it's, it is a great thing to have as much as we have. But from a business perspective, it could become a hindrance financially, right? Not only financially and, and, and from a position of that, you know, the payment of it, but from a, a situation of our people can't grow because they can't get out there to the field to do the work to make money for their family. So we don't want to be the hindrance of why people is not growing. As we go into this next level of the company, guys, with the integration of the financial solutions, as we go into the integration where you can be at a rank up doing multiple products and with people in position, you don't want to be on the Zoom. If I was you, but I'm not. But if I was, I would want to be on the Zoom. I would want to be in a position to automate. You know, I, I would want to be in a position that my people can just, you know, come into a system, get the information they need and go. I wouldn't want them to sit on the Zoom for so long. You know, and I'm just being totally honest with you. Automation, guys, and once you really understand this process of how we've been able to orchestrate this deal, we got great content back there. We have Alameen back there in the back office already with the French. We have Tani back there teaching in Spanish. We have Chi and Christy going through the eight days of training. We got Kiana with the training view back there. Guys, we have so many resources in the back office right now. Just go press play. That's all you need to do. So when we went through the videos and we looked at some of the videos, a lot of the stuff week in, week out through the archives is a repeat, which lets us know we've been consistent in putting it out there. But it also says that no matter when you came into the business in January, February, March, or April, right? It was The information was already back there. So there's no need to continue to do the, the live videos. Go to the back office and press play. And guys, once we do this, I promise you, your lives are going to be better. And, and, and when shout out to the extreme team for all those that's been having this, this strenuous schedule and, you know, doing all the videos and, and doing all the Zooms. I mean, these guys have been working, man. Give it up for the extreme team. And our team is amazing. The level of loyalty, commitment and, and just care that they've been giving to the community since we started in January has been like second to none, like absolutely amazing. But guys, we got to think about them too, right? Because a lot of them want to get back to the field. They want to get back to training. And we're just grateful that they trained the whole company, not just the people that was in their money and their direct lines, but they train people all across the country, all across the world. And it takes a big heart to do that. And so again, we want to say thank you to the extreme team and, and, and the love that they've been able to get to the community. But we want to be fair because the comp plan has so much money in it, right? And the training that we have is so good we understand that they're going to make more money in the comp plan and building their businesses the way they know how to do it than they could just be on Zooms, you know, from the corporate side. And so we want to be fair to them as well because they have big dreams and things they want to get done. So not only is it going to be good for the field, it's going to be good for the corporate team to allow our leaders who've been able to do a great job, you know, go to the next level. We don't, we don't want to be the hindrance of anybody's success on the field or the corporate side. And because we understand where we're going, guys, it's all about automation from here. So I'm super excited about what we got going on with the automation process. I'm super excited about the energy I'm saying that I'm seeing across the board. And one last thing before I get out of here again, man, y'all throw some money bags in the chat for our educators, man. Our people are making some serious dough. Like our people are making some serious dough. I'm talking about rolling it in. I'm talking about our people making in weeks now what they was making at a yearly salary. You know what I'm saying? A yearly salary, guys. They was on legal slavery, right? Making this money. Our people, like, I see their videos. They eating good. They traveling. They having a good time with their family. I'm talking about Nelson and Messina went over there. They gave them a whole island to themselves when they went on their anniversary. Like, Nelson and Messina, those some bad folk right there. I mean, you talking about KCI tearing it up. Cashville tearing it up. You know what I'm saying? Angela Jenkins team over there tearing it up. Like, we got people tearing it up. We got people in Jamaica tearing it up. Trinidad tearing it up. Like, our people is tearing it up. And it's all because of skill set. Guys, we are a edge. We are a money. We are a money school. We are a school that's based on our people coming and learning money. Guys, that was our, that's our whole goal from the beginning, is to create a place, an environment, where wholesome entrepreneurs can come to, 
learn a skill set and be able to turn himself into six figure earners. See, we're not, we're no longer thinking about years or months. We have people coming six figure earners in weeks and days. Like guys, that is a massive collapse of time frames. Like lives are being changed all over our company because we take education so seriously. So this ain't a company, guys, where you throw it against the wall and see who's going to stick. See, we don't believe in that. See, we believe in care. We believe in nurturing, supporting, and making sure our people get educated correctly. The academy is amazing. Our, our live sessions are amazing. Our people are going to the next level. You know why? Because they want to. See, we can lead you to it all day. But we built such an environment that it's like mandatory. You know what I'm saying? For you to go to the academy and learn. It's mandatory for you to get in a position to, to, to do what you got to get done because we're not letting people hide. So you can't get on these live sessions with an Aaron Maddox or, you know, a King Pip or a King Nelson or, you know, an A or Mr. Fabulous. So you, you can't get on these sessions and be hiding and, and capping and like you really know what you're talking about. They will pull your card. You know what I'm saying? Like they will pull your card. And if you don't know it, you're going to have to get your butt back in, in class, get a, go to the chapter in the academy and learn it. See, that's true accountability. See, guys, we got so many people making so much money because we built an expectation that if you're going to pay $99, if you're going to pay $124 or $144, whatever you're going to pay, guess what? You're going to get your money's worth over here. So when we call this the Ivy League of, 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 of Forex education, guys, that wasn't just a statement. So it's not about just how many students you have in your team. It's how many students you have that's making money. Hello. See, it's a big difference, right? You know, you can have thousands of people on your team, but if ain't nobody making no money, then what's 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 the deal? Like, what are people paying for? See, what I love about it, I don't. We don't have a stigma of people. You know, oh, they gonna make money, then they are gonna see the value in the in the in the, in the uh, academy no more. That's not true. That's a stigma. See, our value is our people. You follow me? So, <laughs> if I had never made a hundred thousand before doing anything outside of my job or outside of my business, and I get with a group of people who train me how to make a hundred thousand or 200,000, you think I'm gonna leave the people? No, see, see, it, it, that's a small mindset and I, I, and I wanna speak on it because this is publicly and honestly how I feel. I feel that we can give people amazing value where the $99 for the membership or they 124, is, it's not a question whether they pay it or not, that's, the, that's small minded. It's all about taking them to the next level and because they, the value is in the people. See, I'll never leave my mentor because I don't wanna leave, I don't wanna pay $99, hello. I wouldn't leave my mentor because I don't want to pay $124. I've taken people to dinner to spend $100 to $200 to have a 30-minute or hour conversation because I value the person. You see what I'm saying? So we got to understand the value in this deal. Don't ever be afraid of your people learning the skill set and feel like they're not going to pay their membership. That's a bunch of fluff. See, our, our value is too large right? For us to even to be thinking like that, right? And so we want to make sure we keep the main thing, the main thing. We are a money school. We are a, a platform that's sort of to teach people how to go to the next level. And I truly believe with everything in me that our people love us and they love our company and they love each other. So this is why people continue to make hundreds and thousands of dollars and they pay their membership. It's because of the value. Somebody put value in the chat for me. It's value. See, we'll never be afraid of people making money. See, if that's the thing, if that's the thing, then it's, it's no different than a job. See, you're just over broke, pay you just enough to, to come in and just enough so you, you know, not enough so you'll come back because you got more month at the end of your, uh, you got more month than money at the end of your check. So you got to go back to work. Hello, that job treats you like that. We're not, job, we're not bosses. We're not, you know, uh, slave master. We're not trying to keep people bondage to pay a membership. That's just silly to me. What we want to do is give our people so much value that they make so much money, they just keep telling other people about it. See, this is the deal. See, this is the deal. See, I'm going to speak about it, right? Because some people might be thinking about it. So let me help you. One of the key in sales, if I say it first, then you can't say it, right? We want to make sure we give so much value to our people that they always understand that where they got it from. And they always want to be a part of the community because we're going to make sure we take care of our people. Absolutely. In the, in the, in the chat, the, the retention of it is the people. Why are we so blessed? God got his hand on us, first of all. Let's just be clear with that. There's always a ram in the bush for extreme FX. I'm telling you, there's always a ram in the bush. Number one reason why we're so blessed because God put this together. We didn't do it. He did it. Number two, because we take ownership and accountability of making sure we make good decisions for our community, right? Number three is because our community actually care 
about the sacrifices that the founders has made and about the sacrifices that our extreme team has made so we can orchestrate this. And number four, our community wants to be here. They want to be here. See, I'm never worried about people who leave because I pray one prayer. God bring to me the people that's supposed to be with me and take away the people that's not. Hello. So when, it, when it's a separation, I don't feel no type of way. I've already prayed the prayer. Bring the people to me that's supposed to be with me and take away the people that's not. See, some of y'all try to hold on to people that God is trying to take away from you. See, that's that's an issue. That's an issue. If a person is not tied to the vision, what do you want them for? You don't want people that's not tied to the vision. We have to be and we have to be married and engulfed with the vision of where we're going. We want to create over a thousand six-figure earners. We will create over a thousand six-figure earners over the next 12 to 18 months. That is a, a, a declaration. We will do that, right? We will have documented six-figure earners of people who came to Extreme FX and they added uh, either their first 100,000 or their second 100,000 or their fifth stream of income of 100,000, whatever that is, we will create over a thousand six-figure earners through our education and our distribution program. This is happening. Not, it will happen. No, listen to me. It is happening. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? In the six months that we've been here, it's happening. You follow me? So I'm extremely excited. So I don't have no fear factor. The founders don't have a fear factor. If we give people value where they leave, I mean, that's just like, okay, if you left with that little bit of value, you left too soon because we had more stuff coming down the pipeline. So if that little bit was enough for you, hey, listen, no problem. <laughs> We still got more coming. You follow me? Because when it's true revelation, you don't have any fear factor of releasing it. We don't have no fear factor to give all this value because we understand the more we give it, the more it's going to keep coming. Do you understand that? The more we give it, the more it's going to keep coming. So our community is healthy. Our community is valuable. The, 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 the visions that we have are way bigger than us. And we work cool on the top like ducks, but our feet be on the water kicking at a high speed because we understand why we're doing what we're doing. I'm in the lab right now, chefing up some stuff. You know what I'm saying? I'm in the lab, chefing up some stuff. And, and I'm extremely excited about where we're going. We have no fear of factors about anything. We are grateful. We are pumped up. We're excited and we're focused. We are more focused now. Listen to me carefully. We are more focused now than we were in December when we created this. You know why? Because now we have experience of it. See, it's one thing you can have ambition, and it goes for everybody in your business. You can have ambition of what you expect to happen when you start something. But once you get inside of it, you have experience of what you've been through. Hello. Two different things. See, ambition will take you places, right? But it's going to be your character and your execution that's going to move you further. And what we understand is based on what we are, the adjustment that's necessary to take us to the next level, because we don't have any fear factors, we're moving to the next level. See, there's it's, it's no emotion about anything leaving. I, listen, that's not an inkling of that because the vision is clear. So everyone who sees the vision from the beginning of December, and you see how far God has brought us to today, you're going to see how far he's going to move us forward. Just trust the vision because that's all we're doing. Right. I'm not asking you to trust Sloan or Megan or Reagan and Jacob. Listen, listen, you trust us because you know us, but I'm telling you to trust the vision because the vision that we are operating in, guys, is pure. And the, the next six months of extreme, we will produce more six figure earners than we did the first six months. Mark my word. Mark my word. It will be more six figure earners. And I'm going to end on this. I'm going to give it back to the, to the founders. We will create more six figure earners in the next six months with automation. You know what I'm saying? Then we did the first six months building it out because experience is here. And we have leaders who understand exactly where we're going. They know what we've been through. So it's respected. And now we have the strength to be able to take this to the next level. So guys, I'm super excited for where we are. Again, look for these updates coming to back office. A lot of things in your schedule over the next, you know, seven to 14 days are going to change and trust the process. Trust the process. We see the numbers. We see the volume. We feel the spirit of our people. Guys, we are trusting, even ourselves, hear me, hear my heart. We're trusting the process for the company. So we're not fighting it. So you don't fight it. You understand what I'm saying? Don't fight it. Get behind the wings of the eagle because it makes it easier for all of us. 
anytime you get outside the wingspan is when you hit more resistance. Guys, we need to stay together as a group, as a team, stay behind the wings of the eagle, guys, and we're going to take this deal as far as the good Lord going to allow us to go, guys, we're going to take it all the way there because we're not afraid to go there. When we started this, we wasn't afraid. And to take it to the next level, we're not afraid either. So I appreciate everybody. The key to the deal is going to be automation as we create a platform that our people can come into and just press play. So that was, those are my updates for the evening. I'm going to pass it over to the Dynamic Twins. And if Mr. Jacob Mickle got on here, I'm going to pass it to you guys. That's all I have. Thank you so much, teammates. We're going to pass over to uh, Miss Megan and Ray. I, All I right. Love the, shuffling of the paper. How about you, Meg? <laughs> I was throwing my napkin down. You know how I do it, right? <laughs> no, but you know what, Adrian, you said it perfectly. So the only thing I have to add is, is that the, the key thing that, that we looked at with automation was being in our previous opportunities. And when you start to automate and you allow people to build businesses, but still be able to live, we talk about time freedom and financial freedom but when you talk about time freedom and financial freedom and it's not 100 percent there remember uh in the in the training video that i showed when stormy was talking and and um tweaking you know you have to tweak some things along the way and every single you know 90 days we look at how our business is moving and you have to tweak it along the way. And I just want to thank, uh, give a shout out to Tanny because Tanny and I and Linda Rogers Brown and I, we seem to be on the same page. November and I talk a lot. We're on the same page. And I'm, I wanted to just look at the schedule and look at it with my life. And I'm doing this business full time. What can we automate? What can we make it? What can we change so that Everybody has an opportunity to live their life, build a business, you know, trade, build, do both. It's really about seeing what we can, can automate and not saying the same thing over and over again, even with our presentations. I love doing the live presentation, so we're going to continually do that. But I just had a call with the Africa team because we were doing a call at one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, which makes no sense to me. <laughs> right when we have leaders spread out and we we got to make powerpoints and presentations and and all those types of things so i had a call with africa and i'm like why are we not merging what we're doing and we are you know in a sense automating some things even if we're going live we have one call that everybody can jump on in the afternoon and the evening versus three back-to-back -back calls that leaders have to be on so adrian i just want to say thank you for the energy that you put into it but you guys are going to see we've been here before and, and i didn't get to a hundred thousand dollars a month by accident it was because things were more automated and minimized and when we came in like adrian said when we came in we had to keep the public entertained because we didn't have a company so for 30 days we had the traders we had aaron we had king pip we had tony she and Christy, we had Kiana, we had Tanny, we had all of these people working for no money, all of our money cut off, right? But we were all working to make sure that the team stayed together. Well, now we're together. We have a great foundation of loyal uh, clients, customers, business partners. So now it's time to free up some time and be more effective with our time. So I'm just excited. I'm going to pass it over to Reagan. That's all I have to say. I'm just, I'm really excited to be able to get to the point where people have more time to be able to live and build, to hustle and build and live at the same time. So Ray, I know you have the baby. So that's all I have for you guys. Awesome. That was, this is a great call. Great job, Adrian. Um, if Jacob's on, I <laughs> she said, great job, Adrian. <laughs> Thank you, baby. <laughs> Thank you, Adrian. Thank you, baby. <laughs> you good, Ray. Go ahead. She's like, forget it. You know, <laughs> you know the baby's going to be double dutching men the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Well, guys, we appreciate everything. Thank you guys so much. Just wanted to show you again the direction we're in. Again, big shout out to all the leaders holding it down. Uh, from all over, man. Tammy from Delaware. You're like just everybody just holding it down. November doing a great job, man. Everybody just 
holding it down, man. Let, let's just keep building family. Let's stay tuned for the updates. We appreciate you guys. We love you so much. And uh, we mo we love you more than what you know, man. I, we, we always try to tell you and show you because we really do. It's, it's past just we in business with each other, guys. We have been through things with each other that we'll always remember, just like sports. You know, when you get into tough spaces, them teammates are your teammates for life. And guys, we became a family for life. And so we appreciate you. We're going to keep making things happen back here for you guys. And uh, stay tuned for the new updates, guys. And we'll catch you in the morning on the next call. Y'all have a great night. And uh, obviously, Jacob has a training call tomorrow night. Let's get that call over 200 people. Let's get that Let's get that 11 o'clock call over 500 back to 1,000. Let's just keep doing what we're doing, guys. Thank you so much. God bless you all. Y'all have a great night. Peace and blessings. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you. We love y'all. Yes, Thank appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Love you guys. Love y'all so much. Thank y'all. You guys are awesome. Thank y'all.